Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 168 of the Decades Challenge. It has been a while since I've uploaded um, this series, so I apologize for that. Um, I am just trying to figure out where I want this story to go right now, and you guys have been giving me a lot of really good suggestions. Um, I do want to read the comments from the last video because I thought there were a lot of really helpful ones in there. Um, but first, I wanted to go over Rebecca's makeover. I finally got that done. I kept saying I was going to do it. And it took me a while, but we're finally here. Um, so Rebecca, I thought, I mean, she's older now. She's a mom of three. She does have a teenage daughter. Um, I feel like she's kind of grown up a little bit in her, and, and sort of just matured in like the way she dresses. So I did try to go for the most 80s look that I could, but it's hard actually using the stuff that we have. Um, it is really tough. I did want to say that I actually saw um, Ocean Sims uploaded a video a couple of months ago where she was looking at um, a 90s pack, um, like CC pack, and so I really want to download that for the 90s, so um, definitely prepare for that, that's coming, but for the 80s I just tried to use what we had in the game. Um, so I got like this big oversized bulky sweater, I did change her hair as well, it's just kind of, big hair was a huge thing in the 80s, um, and I mean I tried to find like even bigger than this with maybe some frizz but it didn't really work out so I'm just using this it's not it's not the best hair I actually really don't like this hair but I do think it suits the 80s um lots of volume um so I gave her like these high-waisted pants and like a, a blouse I guess I tried to think of like the mom from Ferris Bueller's Day Off or basically any mom from any of those 80s movies um and then this one here I don't remember giving her this dress, to be perfectly honest. Um, I I don't even know if I meant to do that. <laughs> uh, I'm just being honest with you. The makeup doesn't look right either. I don't know if I meant to do this. I'm not sure why that's in here. Maybe I didn't mean to do it. Because um, to me, it doesn't look very 80s. It looks more 50s. I'm not sure if I'll keep that. I don't know what I was doing. Uh, and then this outfit here, I think, is delightfully 80s. Um, like the tucked in t-shirt. Uh, with the, like the light faded pants. I think that that's uh, very 80s. And then this one here too, same pants again with the oversized bulky sweater and like the white sneakers. I think these are perfect for Rebecca. They just suit her really well. Um, I don't think I gave anyone else a makeover because nobody else needed it. Maybe I did for one of the kids. Like I said, it's been a while since I've uploaded um, for this Let's Play. And so I can't quite remember who's had makeovers and who hasn't, but uh, we are going to be aging up Kimmy today. She's going to be um, a child. So I thought we would maybe make her birthday cake for that. Uh, and then while she's doing that, we can go over the comments from the last video. Oh, wait. Nope, that's Brian. I didn't mean to get Brian to make the cake. Get out of the way, Brian. Um, the last episode also... Um, Michelle went on her, not, not a first date, I would not call it a first date. I mean, she would have loved to call it a date, um, but she does have her first crush, and it's on a guy named Jeremy Addington, who honestly does not seem that into her. Um, she went bowling with her friends and tried to play arcade games with him, and he wasn't really into it, but this is kind of cute, Michelle and Kimmy doing some flashcards. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to go over the comments from the last video. Um, the last video is when Michelle went on, um, I can't call it a date because it really wasn't a date. It was an outing with all of her friends. They went bowling um, and then she ended up just playing arcade games with Jeremy. And I don't think he's really into her. I'm not getting that vibe at all, but we'll see what happens. Um, so um, somebody did say, oh, if you can find one to download, a mall would be exactly where 80s teen girls would hang out if you do another outing. As for Michelle's story, not sure either. Anyway, really enjoying this challenge. Keep up the good work. So I love the idea of a mall. So I went ahead and downloaded a mall. Um, and that is in, I think I did put it in Newcrest. Um, I think I, yeah, you won't be able to see it. It's not quite... Um, in this neighborhood, but I do believe I placed it in New Cra Oh no, I placed it in San Manichino actually, which is, seems kind of weird, but I was looking for a larger lot for them all and San Manichino had one. So I did place them all and we're going to visit that as soon as we can. Um, what else do we have on here? Oh, this one was really fun. Um, according to some online research, the business sector was the highest in demand with financial services, insurance, and real estate jobs having the greatest growth during the 90s and they all required higher education. So I wish we had a design jo designer job from The Sims 3 as that would be the closest to real estate and Michelle could have done that. 
That said, I still vote that she becomes a lawyer as it was always also mentioned in top paid jobs of night or top jobs of the 90s. I just see her wanting more than what her mom had. She doesn't want to be a housewife. She wants a career and some recognition and some wealth. She definitely doesn't want to be like her grandma. Oops, sorry. I just disliked that comment. I did not mean to do that. Um, but I think she would live in a fancy apartment and have only one kid and maybe one great romance that eventually fails because she's too focused on her job. Possibly a second romance with someone in her field that understands the commitment it takes. A decent but distant relationship with her kid also due to her love of work. I actually really like that idea. Um, the idea of of having her become a lawyer. I mean, we've had career driven women women before. Obviously, Donna was very career driven um, to the point where she pretty much sacrificed a relationship with her family. Um, let's blow out Kimmy's candles while we're standing here. Um, so yeah, but I like the idea of Michelle becoming. Even more, I love the idea of her living in a high-rise apartment in San Myshuno, um, being less focused on family and more focused on career. Obviously, she does have to have one child to carry on the legacy, but I have really been feeling that. I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, the idea of her becoming a lawyer. So I think I even may, might send her to university as well because having a higher education was becoming more and more popular. So that's an option for sure. I am going to leave it up to her final trait to decide um, and we'll see what trait she gets and if it kind of suits um, the lifestyle that I'm possibly thinking of doing for her. Uh, but I do like the idea of her being a little less focused on family and a little more on her career. Um, so you guys have to let me know what you think about that. The lawyer yes. career sounds really fun as well. Um, so Stephanie and Michelle are off to school. I'm going to get them to make friends. I feel like Michelle's in a stage right now where she's more focused on making friends and possibly getting herself a boyfriend than she is about school. Um, I would call it a phase though. I think that that, that will get better um, and she'll be more focused on school again in the future. Where is she going? She has to like run away to age up. Super weird. All right, so Kimmy is going to get the creative trait, which I think is really good for her. Um, I think that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I'm going to send Brian to work. I'm going to come and actually, um, we'll replace that and sell all of our plants. Um, so yeah, Kimmy, I, for now, I actually kind of like her look. It suits her. So I'm going to keep it and I'll give her a little bit of a makeover after this episode. Um, I mean, that's just when I prefer to do it. I will replace her toddler bed though. Um, so that she's got a regular size bed. Um, I'm just going to give her maybe like this. It's obnoxious, definitely. I hate this bed, personally. It reminds me of The Sims 3, when you could like customize um, like the color and patterns of things, which people say they want back. Like the color wheel and how you could customize just literally anything. Make it look like any fabric, any wood, any, t any material you want, any color you want, any pattern you want. I personally hated it. I thought it was so tacky everything looks so bad when you played with the custom like the customization wheel or the color wheel everything looked terrible so i personally don't want that back um this bed just totally reminds me of that it's like a total throwback um all right so michelle is downstairs oh she's still working on these plants can we not oh i thought we could sell them but i guess that's done um all right so I think we're good to go. I might get her to come grab some food, get some leftovers. Um, I should check on when Stephanie is aging up. Oh, she still has quite a while. So I think what we could do is probably throw this cake in the garbage. We don't need it for anything. Um, and then Kimmy, she can come grab a snack, maybe grab some leftovers. I've been trying to get uh, Rebecca to focus on, I don't know what she's, oh, this is her hot weather outfit. Um, Donna is calling. I mean, Donna's technically not supposed to be alive, so I have been ignoring her calls. Um, I should probably just go and kill her off because I feel like since I cheated that, um, she's probably not going to die naturally. Um, she might be immortal, so I may have to fix that. Um, Kimmy can do some homework, I guess. Um, yeah, Rebecca needs to spend some time working. Oh my good god. <gasps> what happened out here? Oh wow, that is one sick dog. Do I have any wellness treats? Oh. 
Wow, Riley, what? um, you have literally destroyed the yard. I think he's, oh. she's feeling better though. Um, okay. huh. wow, I don't think the rainbow pet poop is worth anything. Oh, it's $12 each. Wow, we've got some work to do out here. Um, we're actually going to get the help of Kimmy. I know it doesn't seem fair, but this is gonna take a really long time to clean this up. Why did this happen? Um, I mean, I might as well just sell these. I don't know what else to do with them. And of course, now she has stepped in it. Oh my god. I can't believe I wasn't paying attention to what Riley was doing overnight. I don't even know why he was outside that entire time. Okay, well, I got that cleaned up. Man, that is one sick dog. Like, you have got the whole outside completely covered. Where are you going? Oh, she would rather clean up the puddle inside. Okay. Oh, and Michelle met someone else while at school today. I kind of think that Michelle um, would be going through a bit of a boy crazy um, phase. I don't know. I, I just, I can really see that for her. Wanting to hang out with her friends. Um, that's just what I envision. Wow, this is taking so long. Actually, maybe I will just put this pet hair in the garbage. I really hope Riley feels better because that is such a mess. Christopher is calling. All right, well that like took all afternoon to clean all that up. Um, I think it's actually in my aspirations challenge where I do have the wellness treat. I have like a horde of them in an inventory, but I think that I may have forgotten them somewhere down the line. Um, all right, Kimmy, I think we're all good to go. I don't see anything else that we can really do. So we'll just wait for everyone to get home. This poor woman, all she does is clean all day. I was gonna have her go and write some more songs because we haven't done that in a little while. All right, uh oh, who's dead? Oh no, the principal is calling. Oh, her grades aren't very good? Oh, she's only a C student. That's odd. I guess maybe I don't get her to do her homework as much as I thought I did. Yeah, that's probably it. I think that I've just been getting her to like neglect her homework and I probably shouldn't have. Uh, my principal called to say that my school performance is pretty shaky. If I'm not careful, I could drop a grade. I was told to focus on my school goals, keep a good mood at school and make it on time every day. All right, well, I guess we need to work on that. Um, Maybe, why is, I don't know why Rebecca's in the shower. Did I tell her to do that? I must have told, I must have told her. I don't remember that, but um, let's see who we could talk to. She knows, oh, she met someone named Heather at school. Um, she met this Taku guy. Um, obviously, I think we should call Jeremy. I mean, at this point, I don't think she's really taking much of a hint. What's kind of cool about uh, Michelle is that she does have a lot of friends, so we could always like have outings and things like that. I do like the idea of her being quite social and having uh, a good group of friends. And maybe that's why her grades aren't that good. Um, maybe what we'll do is serve some dinner. Let's do um, camper's stew. And I'll get her to do her homework. I think I'll just get all the kids to do their homework, mostly because it distracts them from getting food out of the fridge. I find that so irritating when a sim is cooking dinner that like everybody just comes to the fridge and starts taking random things out. How's everyone doing? Where are they? Uh, oh, they're all in the living room. Okay, that's good. That works for me. Okay, Brian is home from work. Um, I guess I'll get him to just come in here. I think it's kind of cute that they all just hang out together, like, doing their homework. That's kind of nice. Um, okay, so Brian. Um, I don't want this upgrade part. Like, there's so much random junk all over this house. Uh, let's call to, actually, you know what? I'm going to move this to here and then call to meal. Um, also, there was a storm last night, and so we got this crystal, which I'm just going to sell for 192 simoleons. And the food is ready. Also, we got a cat. This is Felix. It's technically uh, Michelle's cat because she is a cat lover. 
Um, so I'm thinking maybe tomorrow we will have Michelle go to the mall with her friends. Um, I also want to see if things could happen with Jeremy potentially. I am getting the feeling that he's not really into her, but I mean that could change. I don't know. this in the fridge it is going to be nice not having a toddler to worry about i do have to say uh, i could probably get rid of this bassinet as well they're not going to have any more kids i feel like we have enough um three for me is a pretty comfortable number i don't really want to change that actually you know what go to the washroom first uh yeah three girls i don't know that seems pretty good i don't think we need more kids and we don't really even have this space. I mean, I could probably make room, but I don't think I want to. What are you doing? Oh, she's doing the dishes before she goes to bed. All right then. Um, probably, I think everyone's asleep now. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we will do an outing to the mall and bring her friends. She does know a lot of kids her age. Jeremy, Taku, Heather, Yumi, um, Christopher, Ari, Junko, Miki, Robin, Riley, Gonzalo, Pablo, Nanami. She knows a lot of people. Um, so we could just get a huge group and go to the mall, um, which sounds fun. I'm not sure how well my computer is going to handle um, this, this lot because it is crazy. It's really big. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, I mean, it's a new computer now, so it should be okay. But I, my last computer did not like crazy um, community lots. Not a fan at all. Um, maybe I'll get Rebecca to get up and make some breakfast. Let's do French toast. Get ready for our day at the mall. Um, Michelle is definitely our main focus now. Um, the other kids, I mean, they are just kind of spares to the legacy, so it's not really a big deal. We don't really do much with them. And she's making her French toast. We'll come grab some of that. Um, just get everyone to grab some, I guess. The kids, too. Um, yeah, then we'll be ready to go to the mall. She definitely needs to have some fun. I did check out the lot, and I'm not entirely sure what's there, but I'm sure there'll be, uh, like, fun things to do. Hopefully some shopping. Um, I'm just excited to check it out. I love the idea of going to the mall. Who left that comment? Kelsey Wilson. Nope, not Kelsey. Kessley. Thank you. Um, that was a really good idea and I'm super excited about it. So we're going to travel. Um, who should we bring? There's so many people. Um, I mean, once her sister is a teen, we'll probably bring her as well. But for now, I think we'll go with Christopher and Heather. They look like they're probably siblings. They have the same last name. Um, Jeremy, Robin... I'm just going to invite a whole bunch of teens. I think that should be good. Everyone is coming with you. Okay. Um, so we are headed to the big city. We're going to San Maishuno. That is where the mall is. It's called the Mega Mall. Um, and it's on the lot where Center Park used to be. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a really, it's a really big lot. Uh, but I did check it out. And there's like a movie theater. Um, there's places to buy food. It actually looks like a really fun place to hang out and we may make this our new hangout and just go here to to just like I said, hang out. I think that's a very 80s thing to do. Just go to the mall. You don't need anything. You're not really shopping. You're just there with your friends. Um yeah, that was a really good suggestion. Um the bowling alley and the arcade, I thought that that would be the place to hang out, but now I kind of like this better. Um, so let's definitely talk to Jeremy because, I mean, she is kind of into him. We'll try making a flirtatious joke, but I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, he, he is so not into her. It's like he ran away the second he got the chance to do that. Um, so yeah, this is the mall. I kind of like the lot that it's on. Um, there's like the lake in the background and I don't know, it's got like this grand entrance. I just, I like it. Um... I don't know who built this. I definitely should be able to give that person credit because it's crazy. Um, but so downstairs there is um, lots of places to buy food. There's actually a bar here. Um, this is very mall-like, like the fountain, I think. Uh, there's a little kiosk to buy food. There's lots of stores. 
They don't look like they're open though. This looks like a furniture store, a bookstore, um, washrooms, more, like a little bit of a food court almost, like a little place you, you can go and eat. This looks like it would be a cupcake place because there's a cupcake machine. But upstairs, there is this really cool lot where she's actually hanging out right now talking to Jeremy. Oh, he actually seems like he might be into the flirting. Let's keep going with that and see what happens. They're monkeying around. I feel like that's probably her way of flirting. Um, but yeah, this is like the movie theater. So there's like this little ticket kiosk. I mean, obviously it's not functioning, but it's a good idea. Um, there's like a concession line and then there's two rooms where you can go and watch a movie, which is where her friends are. So I think that's really cool. Um, two different theaters. Um, I don't know why I'm more interested in showing off this mall than I am about actually hanging out here, but I, I just think it's really cool. Um, and then the, the mall is pretty empty right now, but there's this like, looks like a high end sort of fashion store, uh, music store possibly, um, more clothing, art supplies. I mean, they just, they did such a good job. I don't know what this is, to be honest like a fancy goods store. This must have taken so long. I mean, I can really appreciate how long this would have taken. Um, this looks like a gaming store. Um, and it really just looks like a mall. I mean, it's got this open sort of floor plan. I don't know. It just, it's a, it's a great lot. I wish I could give props to whoever built it, but I always forget to do that. So we're going to tell him a funny story. I'm just going to see where this goes. Um, Obsessive with social media. I mean, maybe I could get them to watch the movie together. Um, watch current channel together. Um, so Jeremy, she just learned, is a genius. So that is his trait. We're not sure what the other trait is yet. Um, but things between them seem to be going well. Um, this is Heather. Maybe we could chat with her. Get to know her. Tell her a joke about ducks. Why not? Just trying to get some screen dots. Um, I do want to make sure that Jeremy doesn't go too far, because I do want to go back to that. Um, he, this Christopher guy looks like a good contender as well. Um, I mean, he does have the same name as her uncle. Uh, oh, who's this? Oh, he's talking to some other girl. Um, yeah, I don't think that, <laughs> I don't think that, uh, Michelle would allow for that. Um, I, I do like the idea of them flirting. Maybe you could try that again. It's annoying that they're sitting down, like, not even facing each other. Okay, so it looks like the movie's over or whatever they were just watching. I don't know if it was a movie or just TV, but um, I do want to reveal Crush and just see what happens with that. I'm extremely nervous about that. I, I feel like she's tried this before and it didn't go well. How is this going to go? Oh, actually, it went well because I do have a little tiny bit of a romantic um, relationship now they didn't have before. Oh, he had a long-winded answer for whatever she just said. Um, okay, what could we get them to do together that might be fun? Uh, we did the whole movie thing. I mean, you can go shopping. Oh, you really can't go shopping. Um... It's not actually like a retail store. Um, it's just for show. So there's that. Uh, we could always go up here and... Can you play this together? No, I don't think that these are like together games. Um, we can always go down to the food court. Um, can we like sit together? I feel like if I click sit together, it's just gonna be like the whole group that comes running. That's, that's my prediction. Or nobody at all. <laughs> it went the exact opposite. I thought everyone would come running to this table and I have no idea where they went. Where is the group? This mall is so dead. 
I don't even see a flicker of movement. Where did your friends go? Oh, they like straight, they straight up went home. Okay. Um, let's invite him back to the lot. I feel like I did this last time. We all went bowling and then everybody just left way too early and it was really awkward. This lot is so dead. There's nobody around. I think it'd be better if there was like a whole bunch of people in here, but obviously that's not the thing. Um, Rebecca, hey honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? Um, well, that's a weird phone call to get because they live together. So that's pretty odd. Um, I'm not sure I understand that. Okay, where is Jeremy? It says he's around, but I mean, I don't see him. Oh, there's like all these food courts. Oh my God, there, this lot is crazy. Um, Wexy knows. Grab a poster. I don't want that. I'm looking for what's his face. Hmm. I don't see Jeremy. I mean, fun place to hang out. Yes, I. I still. I still think that. Um, but definitely hard to hang out with people because it's so big. Uh, I just got her to grab some food. What is this? I'm curious. I had no idea that this existed. What is that? It's really cute. There's like a little bar and some picnic tables. A monument. There's somebody playing music. I had no idea that this was even here. And there's like a little pond here. You know what? I don't explore this lot as much as I should. Um, there's washrooms over here. You can go fishing. Oh, and there's swans. That's pretty. That would have been a nice place for their first kiss. It really would. Um... And I was hoping that that was going to happen. Um, did Jeremy... You know what? Let's go right here. And ask him to come hang out. I mean, I'll see if I can... What's going on here? Okay. I'll see if I can swing it, but I mean, I, I really... It's not looking good. I, yeah, I don't know if he's going to come over here or not. Um, I would say he would go to the lot, but he wouldn't come directly here. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, I thought that'd be a good place for their first kiss. I wasn't sure if he was going to allow it, but it still would have been fun. Um, hmm. I have no idea where he is. Let's look for some snow globes um, while we wait. What a sad hangout. <laughs> It really was. Um, I almost want to add him to our household just to get him to come over here, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. She got to explore the city a little bit um, because I do eventually. I'm thinking of having her move here, and I like that she was able to come and just see what it's like. Um, really far from home, very different from home. San Marino and Newcrest are so different. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. We'll see where things go with Jeremy in the next episode. If you guys have any thoughts on who else she could possibly date, um, let me know. There's also Christopher. Um, there's Taku. Um, oh, there's this. Oh, that's Floyd. That's her cousin. Never mind. Um, yeah, there's a few other options. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, maybe Jeremy is not the one for her. I don't know, but I'm still forcing it anyway. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for what we can do in the future with uh, Michelle's story, let me know. I'm open to anything. Right now, I love the idea of moving to the big city and having a career. But I mean, we'll see where it goes and what traits she gets. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.